Okay, so we're here at the EP Squash Golf Day. It's a great fundraiser for some of the players that are going to the interprovincial tournament in Pretoria next year. As you can see, with the flags behind me, it is very windy today, and that's going to play into either some people's hands or play against us today. But we've got a couple of players, uh, proper golf players. Uh, Neil's here, one of my friends from school. There we go. He's here as well with his brother. They also dressed up in theme. We'll show you a bit of that. But <laughs> it's going to be a very tricky day. We've got winds of about 40 kilometers per hour. And apart from that, we're just hoping to have a great day of golf. We're trying to get a great atmosphere amongst the crowd. Um, as you can see, one of the major sponsors for this golf day is Absa. So they've actually sponsored a hole and we're really grateful to them for their contribution towards this golf day. And a lot of the other players themselves, just by participating, have obviously contributed towards the EP Squash community and the venture of going to IPT next year. So we'll obviously take a couple of videos throughout the day and just cover all the footage of some of the shots, some of the bloopers. I'm going to pose like it went dead. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the competitions that are going on and yeah, we hope you enjoy. Cheers. <laughs> So I'm here with Casey, Khaleesi Dodd, <laughs> our tournament or golf day organizer, also part of the EP Squash Committee. Just sort of a, in a nutshell, what's the golf day about? What's the fundraiser for? Um, what is the aim of the whole tournament? Today's tournament is in aid of getting our IPT players, our senior interprovincial representatives to Pretoria next year to participate once again in the national gross point interprovincial tournament and hopefully try to bring some more trophies home because last year they brought well yeah this year they brought home two trophies and it's going to be a little bit more expensive to get us to tour because we're going to pretoria next year we're not going nice and close by so mm. today is about raising funds for us to all go hopefully send some more players and get more people involved and to just get the community together again somewhere out of this out of the squash uh, scene so that's what we're here to do we have to have some fun in the wind yeah. <laughs> so squash is obviously a very expensive sport some Something that's driven by the individuals themselves. We've obviously got a sponsor, Absa here, right, which are really helping out. Um, I think let's maybe we talk about some of the expenses some of the players have to incur in order to go to tournaments. Obviously, what is entailed that you've done a couple of these things, right? And I'm sure obviously a bit of funding helps a lot. Absolutely, and we've. Um from one aspect, everything's gone up. I mean, to, to travel these days is very expensive. Fuel costs are higher than ever. To fly somewhere is uh, more expensive than ever at the moment. And driving has become a little bit more dangerous. The roads are very busy and you don't really want to take that risk with anybody. So uh, I think the, the biggest cost for us, travel, and then of course equipment. Uh, it's, it's a never ending story. If you're playing squash a lot, you've got a lot of things to replace over and over again. And on the other hand, we've got a lot of development players who can't necessarily fund themselves so we're here to actually work hard to get them there as well because without those players we we're weaker they're just there's so much talent out there and when we find it we need to nurse it and we need to fund it and that's mostly what today is about just to help those players who can't help themselves become something at the end of the day we've brought so many of them through the ranks and they're doing so well for themselves now so we want to continue that uh, continue that legacy okay Last but not least, except for the squash, how's your golf? How do you think you're going to fare today? I have not played a lot of golf in my life and the last time I played was uh, with my lovely boyfriend in uh, Fish, at Fish River in April before I had my knee surgery that uh, followed after national doubles this year. So I'm very excited to get back on. My golf's not too bad. Luckily the squash helps me aim a little bit straight, <laughs> but um, I've got a very good partner. So I've got, uh, I've got high hopes for today. Okay, no, thanks so much, Casey. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's all. Camera shy now that the mic suck. <laughs> okay, so I am. Really happening. It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I am here with Avi, who is representing EBSA Bank, one of the biggest banks in South Africa, if not the biggest bank in South Africa. They are our main sponsor for today at the EP Squash Day. So we would like to, one, show appreciation and thanks for the contribution that you made towards some of the players which will be going to the IPT tournament in Pretoria next year. And the first question that I have is, why do you feel it's important to give back to sporting communities within South Africa? 
Uh, it's important to uh, give back to sports because of the health reasons. You know, we'll have clients that are involved in, st in sport that will say that, that their health is going to improve and they will live longer and bang with us more longer <laughs> and then invest. Once, once they are older, they will, go re they will retire and invest in us. So it's important to, to invest in sports for health reasons. Thank you. Okay. And um, obviously you've approached me to ask where I bank and I have told you, um, why should we bank with APSA? Uh, APSA is, uh, you know, everything is digital now and we're one of the banks that are promoting a digital, ch digital channel. You use your cell phone, you, do, you don't have to go to the bank and everything is clear, your, our pricing is clear, we would tell you what is it that we can do for you and the, the spectrum of the products and services that we offer. So I think APSA is the bank to bank with. Yes. Yes. No, thank you. Thank you very much, Avi. Um, and you. we would want to say again, thank you very much for your contribution. ABSA, um, it's not only Avi here, we've got a lot of other ladies and representatives from ABSA, but you, we, you have made your presence known and felt and we are very grateful for that. So thank you very much. Thank you. That's all. Danish, What's happening? how's the day going? It's windy. And? It's very windy. <laughs> no, it's good. Good. Chilling out. What have you shot? I made a five and a four, so it's not good. The first two? Yeah. Okay, that's actually not bad. Uh, not bad, but not good. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna get a bit better. Yeah, definitely. 100%. When's it getting a bit better? No, it's staying strong, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and how's it been going so far? Good. Not as good as last weekend, but we, we're warming up still. First line's a warm up, second line we score points. Okay, what happened last weekend? I uh, played St. Francis Links off last weekend. I uh, came first in that tournament. Sure. Um, good round, 83 off a 16 handicap, so some good points, 40 points I think it was. Um, got a bit of a better ball today and I've got some good partners going to help me out. So. Okay. So you're hoping to replicate last weekend's success here? Yes, yes. <laughs> no. Definitely. But it was less windy last weekend. From Coming from inland, I'm a, not, not much of a wind golfer. Yeah. I'm relying on the coastal boys to uh, understand the windy conditions. And give you some guidance. Hopefully. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Andre. I have to get you on. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Okay, I'm here with Sean Bailey. Sean, G'day. how's it been going so long? Uh, it's slightly windy today, just a little bit. Um, it's actually helping my golf, uh, <laughs> seeing as I don't play. Uh, I've only lost two balls so far, so all good. <laughs> How many houses have you hit? Because I none. think you promised a few. Absolutely none so far. Okay, <laughs> any impressive um, holes? Uh, the last one, I got a par. Okay. Yeah, so it's the first ever in my lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> you know you play golf? Not really. No. Okay, first time. First time, no, not first time, but yeah, long time. Okay, first time in a long time. <laughs> so you can take a break and you're going for the second round. We're going to have a beer, loosen up the joints, and then it'll be all good. Okay, so it's going, only going to get better. Yes, hope so. Okay, <laughs> nice. See you later. Cheers, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Tyron Dial, EPA section player. Um, I thought he was captain, but um, <laughs> he wasn't. What are the chances of Liam doing better than you today on this uh, golf day? There's more chance of... Okay, no, let me not say that on camera, actually. <laughs> there is no chance of Liam doing better than me today on the golf course. <laughs> uh, who are you playing with? Who are you playing alongside? My teammate for today is Justin Long. Mm -hmm. um, it was a wise choice. We actually lost the bet and ended up together, which is probably the best bet I'll ever lose. <laughs> um, and we'll be playing alongside Casey Lee, which will be very interesting, and Liam Ford, which is going to be a dreadful combination. Okay. Um, so this is probably not going to be the last time we have EP golf uh, golf day, squash golf day. Um, how can you convince some people to join the next one? Obviously, this has been quite an enjoyable one yeah. so far. But what's in store for the next one, or what do you think people are missing out on? Look, I think we've had help from a lot of people who have done golf days. They do golf days often, like Grinnell, like Bianca. Um, so there's a lot of people behind the scenes that know what they're doing in terms of organizing it. It's more about building the gears within the squash community, getting some hype around it. It hasn't been done for quite a long time, but we know just from being around the club, there's a lot of golf players, a lot of Oaks that are golf enthusiasts. So it's just about creating a bit of hype around it through that avenue and then obviously just involving your extended family, extended friends. I think everyone knows that the squash community loves a good vibe, loves to enjoy the festivities afterwards. 
and I think that appeals to people big time. I think the fact that we have such a good turnout in possibly the worst golfing conditions you could think of <laughs> speaks volumes. Yeah, 100%. Now, thanks so much, Tyron. Pleasure. Sure.